had hurricane shutters on them. Those hurricane shutters broke loose, uh, eventually smashed into pieces and went flying down streets. Uh, there are parts of New Orleans, we're told, according to emergency managers that are underwater, the east side of New Orleans and on the west bank of, of New Orleans along the canal, all of that uh, with a few more problems. Some police coming down the street, been checking things out for the better part of the morning. They're still warning New Orleanians who are not press and who don't have a reason to be out and about to stay inside. And if you're watching us from some other area and you've evacuated New Orleans and are looking to come back, today is not the day to do it. Interstate 10 remains closed across Louisiana, into Mississippi, and into, Louis and into, into Alabama, and will remain closed because there are great concerns about the saline shortages along their way. So certainly to try and get home at this hour, not a good idea, as you say. Janet Chamlin in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, thank you so much. Thousands of animals have been evacuated from New Orleans, from Biloxi, from surrounding cities in preparation for Katrina. Some people were able to evacuate with their pets. Others... Wait to Capital expansion, please. Oh, and stay ahead. All righty, there it is, the Dow. All right, and we've just got about three and a half minutes uh, to go now to the uh, the closing bell. NASDAQ and Dow continue to trade higher uh, with the Dow up about 71 points. Uh, NASDAQ up 16 or 17, been that way for the entire uh, last uh, hour. So joining us today, Harvey Hershorn, Chief Portfolio Strategist at Bank of America, and Jerry Castellini from Castlog Management uh, joins us once again. And uh, uh, Jerry, just hold on for a second. You, this has been the Jerry show uh, uh, Sorry. from three to four. Let me, talk, let me just ask Harvey, we talked to you earlier uh, Harvey, about the, about this market and, uh, and the turnaround, you've had some time to think about it. Perhaps that maybe the Strategic Petroleum Reserve may be used here to try and dampen down some of the price volatility in the energy market it may have encouraged some investors. Yeah, even though on, on any given Wednesday, the inventory data can cause just as big a move in, in the price of crude. I don't know why this would prompt the uh, the government to use the uh, the SPR. Hey, Jerry, you're not just an energy guy. You, you invest... Yeah. You invest in the stock market yeah. too. I mean, are you impressed with the, the I, overall I, averages? I, I think I think you have to be. I, I mean, if we didn't have this hurricane, you'd be looking at a market that's been pretty sloppy for the last few months. And I, I guess all we know now is that if you get everybody worried about a, a catastrophic event, uh, the lack thereof is probably reason to celebrate. And you look at groups like healthcare and, and technology that did well today, those are probably groups that were going to be bought regardless. And, and I think the lack of a real bothersome event in the you know in terms of uh, catastrophe probably pushed that in yeah we were in a news vacuum last week and we lost 160 points on the dow we get a yeah. you know a category four hurricane touches down and uh, we'll get 70 points uh, upside eight uh, and, and, go and, ahead Jim. Oh, yeah, i was gonna say remember uh, these we, we were worried about uh, uh, an erosion in consumer spending uh, these types of things tend to have if you remember last year in florida there was a lot of dollars spent in rebuilding, and, and this might be some kind of a catalyst to uh, bring people into stores again in the next few weeks, which might also be another positive. And it was clearly what was driving the markets last fall. Hey, Harvey, do you think? I mean, we saw with London. Now we're seeing with uh, there's some premiums, some risk premiums just built into this market, and, and that's why it doesn't move the way it's supposed to. And, and uh, try to answer me in about 20 seconds if you can. Yeah, I think uh, since 9/11, we've had a terrorist risk premium in this market. And uh, that's been one of the major factors, keeping P.E. multiples lower than what they might otherwise have been. Uh, events like this, there's just another uncertainty. It's a, uh, a dramatic effect on the local community right. and can have longer-term impacts on the energy market. Here. All right. Thanks to both of you, Harvey Hershorn, Jerry Castellini. Thank you. These markets have overcome some scary news from Hurricane Katrina today. You can see the stock markets are closing in the green today. Dow up by about 70 points. NASDAQ also higher today, up by about uh, 16, 17 points. The second hour of the closing bell continues with Bill Griffin. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Bill Griffith in from Maria Bartiromo. Wall Street fought off early fears of Katrina. Stocks finished higher today. We have team coverage from all angles, but let's begin with NBC's Jay Gray. We are still seeing very intense winds and rain from Hurricane Katrina here in Biloxi, Mississippi. If there's any question that this